So, uh, Tamara, I mean, can you believe it's been nine years? <laughs> oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> It would have been nine years. I know, it feels like five years. So maybe that's a good sign? I don't know. You tell us. <laughs> but we thought it'd be fun this week to go down like memory lane. We we haven't had a chance to really, we talk about our wedding here and there, but I found some pictures and some video and it's, it's uh, it was an amazing weekend. I just can't believe it's gone by so fast. What's crazy is, for those who don't know, the weekend, it was like a weekend. We had people come in from all over the world. We had friends come from London and from Europe, obviously. We had friends come from Nigeria. We had a friends come from all over the US. So we wanted to make a weekend like getaway for them. So we had a bus tour on Friday. We had a taco truck and a wine tasting on Saturday. And then Sunday was the big event of course. There was one night I think I did not remember. I saw pictures. You didn't uh, go Saturday night, I the night before. I think because I probably drank too much. Uh, I think the last thing I remember before our wedding day was Taj carrying me, I think, to, to your house. Mindy Weiss was our wedding planner and she was amazing and they made it rustic and there was, it was just a beautiful setup. Our wedding looked, I mean, it still was a gorgeous, lavish, you yeah. know, wedding, but for the way it looked, I actually paid half price mm -hmm. for it because I, because I thought of the future. I thought of our, our home that, that we were gonna buy. And I knew people in Napa. I'm from Napa, Yonkville's my hometown. So we had some really cool opportunities, people that gave us some, some good deals, basically. Which is nice to know. It's nice to know people. I, but the coolest thing about our wedding is, yes, they, they were, it was a three-day event. Mm -hmm. It was really important that we, because we've been to weddings where uh, the guests were kind of segregated. Mm -hmm. You knew that these guests were the bride's side or the, or the groom's the, side. The it was really important for us to bring everyone together. And we had like 360 people at the wedding and there were a lot of people we wanted to invite. I wanted to invite more and so did she. Um, now looking back, probably a few we shouldn't have invited. <laughs> that always happens but though. Always happens. That always happens. So I remember Pastor Dudley standing up there in front of everybody and saying, giving his little speech um, when we had my, my, my great uncle come up there. We had Tamara's grandma come up there. And then Pastor Dudley just said, you know what's amazing to me, so many words, was looking out there and seeing all people from all walks of life, old, young, I mean, every every color, I mean, everything you can imagine. And that everyone was just mixing. It was like a, it was like a one big mixing event. And you want to know what's interesting, too, is that some people became really good friends at our wedding, and they're still great friends. They still visit each other. So my dress. I... Dresses. He's correct. I felt like I waited a long time to get married. I was 33, 33? <gasps> yes, 33. And uh, I wanted to do it up. So I had three dresses. I had my wedding dress. I Actually, had my reception dress. We're 32. Turned yeah, 32 that's what I was at, 33. I remember I was like, 33 is when I had Aiden. You were 32. I was 32. You're turn 32. Yeah, 32 is a good age to get. Mm -hmm. When I got married, I felt like I was ancient when I got married. But no, 32 is actually, it's a great age. I would say, don't rush. Make sure you find the right person. You can find the right person at 22. You can find the right person at 32. You can find the right person at 45. You have to do what's right for you. Just don't don't rush. That if there's any advice, that that's what I yep. would say. But anyways, at that moment, I felt uh, like I wanted to do it up. I had a wedding dress. My dress was designed by Carolina Herrera, and little did I know, it actually was voted the most affordable designer really wedding dress. It was I didn't know that. I wanted it to. I wanted to wear the dress. I didn't want the dress to wear me. Um, I always wanted a long, like cathedral, cathedral veil. So I think it was about ten feet. It was beautiful. Ten feet. It was I'm about just ten keep saying feet. That, it was Shut up. The whole thing was beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, then I had a reception dress. It was by Dolce and Cabana, 
And then I had an after party dress, which was by Hervé. And it was a very sexy, tight dress that was in during, uh, we got married 2011. During that time that all three of those designers were like the, the it designers. Um, but like I said, she was always I, changing. I was always changing. I'm like, I'm like, where'd my bride go? Yes. She's changing again. It's easy for a guy. But I will say during that time, a lot of women were doing that yeah, as well. Yeah, no it was like, it was like the thing, the thing to do. Whereas now I feel like women have one dress that can change into, or maybe people were doing I that just before. Change, I just change once next time. Next time. When, when we, we do, do our vows. See, um, I know she was going to go there. I had the biggest wedding party now that I look at the, the pictures. It was awesome. I had my friends from college. I had my friends way before I even met Adam, immediately after college, Jackie, Andrea. I had my sister-in-law in Hannah because she, I always say she was my friend first and then she became my, my sister-in-law. She, she's just, she's pretty awesome. Um, of course I had my sister. If you're watching Teen Tamira the reality show, you, you would know a little drama behind the matron of honor and the maid of honor. Uh, matron of honor, I didn't know you could have two, so I was very happy about that. My sister was my matron, Andrea was my maid. Um, and the reason why I had two was because my sister was heavily pregnant. Like, not since she was, no God, I don't mean that. I mean, she was just like- Pre was coming soon. Pretty much. And she wasn't able to do the duties that a matron of honor was supposed to do. Andrea was doing all of it. Yeah. And uh, I, and also Andrea is my best friend. So I wanted to have both of them. I'm glad I did that. I had, I had a junior bridesmaid, Elena. Elena was in my wedding party because she, still to this day, um, she's my best friend. I have moments where I can, I just sense her around. I, I know her energy and I know she's she's here with me. That's why I said she's still my best friend. The guys part's easy. We all wore tuxes. Converse sneakers. I had black Converse sneakers for all the guys. We all wore, con we all wore tuxes with black Converse sneakers that were awesome. And that's about it. <laughs> I had my friends from college, some baseball friends, some TV friends, and friends from before. I met Tamara from you know high school Napa days. So I had kind of all my eras, if you will, covered as well. And um, they're all good guys. I'm still friends with all of them today. I will say this. Um, I did learn something looking back at the pictures that I feel like I have lots of advice for, for people. Make sure that, yes, the wedding, usually they think of the bride, right? It's, it's, the, it's the bride's day, but it also is the, the groom's day. I chose blush pink and black and white and green. I just wish I would have chose a little bit more masculine colors no, when I, I look back. No, I love the colors. I you disagree. Did? I think that the guys are supposed to kind of come into the wedding. Listen, the wedding is about the bride, period. We all know that. And the way it should be. Um, I think the guys being in black, I like the fact that, the, that it wasn't masculine because I think the guys are already masculine wearing the black tuxes, black shoes. I mean, we're already very like bold. It's, but I was thinking of the flowers. Like, I just wish I, I would have had it. a little bit more green. I just wish we had more pictures of the guys. We have a lot of pictures of But Jose photos. Villa was amazing. our wedding photographer. He was amazing. And his husband was our videographer. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you that when when he I mean now he is the most sought sought out wedding photographer. So mm -hmm. we I felt so blessed and honored. We're we're we feel blessed and honored to call him call them actually friends now. Yeah. Um but to have him he was amazing. before he kind of just like Blew up. Blew up. Well, he was it's already really popular. Cool. He, he was, gives, but now he is like yeah. he gives wedding the go-to guy. He gives wedding um, photography lessons all over the world. He does it in Mexico. He does it in, in Italy, and he just he does an amazing job. And he captured some phenomenal moments of the girls and the guys. I mean, they have one of me, of me holding my my shoes. They have a great one of her brother because Taj was in my my, my bridal party as well. Um, so we had a, we had a really cool group of of, of friends. And really the wedding was like that. I mean, looking back, you know, we still stay in touch with everybody that was there. 
There's a couple of people who probably wouldn't invite next time, but I mean, of the 370 people, I'd say probably 365 would probably be reinvited, which is, if you've been to a wedding, you know those things change over time. And um, it was just a really cool vibe, I think, all the way around. Were you nervous? Nope. I wasn't nervous at all. I just, I just wanted to be married. Yeah, I was more nervous about the proposal. He before. was. I knew something was weird. I thought, I was like, he's acting that was, really, that really was weird. July 21st, the year before, for the record. So. I'll never forget that. I was like, <laughs> my husband, as y'all know, he's very talkative. But that day before, I was like, he's talking. That Does was he day like before. Me that was day before the proposal, not day before the wedding, to clarify. Why are you nervous? It, I, I gone, you know, I knew I wanted to marry you, but I just didn't know what I was gonna say. I, I thought you would say yes, but I also didn't want it to be cheesy. And also, it's, I, I knew that, that you do that one time. In my life, I plan to do it at one time. Were you nervous? Because I was not nervous at all. I wasn't nervous at all. I, I honestly, there was. I, I look back in the day fondly. You know, there really wasn't any drama in our wedding. I mean, little bits here and there. The drama that happened was because I think it's just normal drama when people drink too much. And but it wasn't even bad, you though. see like people like kind of just falling out on the floor yeah. because they drank too much. But it wasn't like any fist fight, no, any no like yelling, no. arguing. It was all love. It, it was it was a maybe a little like no. bickering. They were bickering between two people out of three hundred and sixty. But that's what I'm saying. I, but so, it was, there wasn't any like major. There was no like there was no on the wedding day. Up to the wedding day, you, you can watch reruns of T and Tamara on yeah. E to see that. <laughs> the ceremony itself was awesome. It was so cool to look out and see all your friends. What's amazing about the ceremonies? We're up there in front. At least I'm up there in front waiting for her. And I look out over the audience. I see her family and my family and all of our friends and all the faces all looking and waiting. You know for this amazing moment to happen. And then she came in with the beautiful dress with her dad. And then afterwards, like you know, we said, we had the dinner party and the little pre, the little pre, um, not the pre thing. Reception, Recep kind of. It was like a reception with the DJ and then we had dinner. And my brother gave me a couple of advice. He said, a couple of things of advice. He said, one, make sure you greet everybody, which we always do anyway. And always make sure you eat first because you're going to forget to yes. eat. Um, I will say we had, for dessert, we had cupcakes, a cake, and a Sunday bar. I got the Sunday bar. Obviously, we got a piece of cake. But somebody, before we got in there, all the cupcakes were gone. Yeah. And I heard people were taking them around Napa the next day saying, this is from Tamara and Adam's wedding. You never told me <laughs> No. That. From Sift Cupcakes. What? Sift Cupcakes and it was bomb. Sweetie Pies is where we had our cake done. Also bomb. And yeah, so we still have our cake. A little part of it. I think it's my parents' freezer for us to have one day. But what? Uh, I heard that it's not good. I don't. At I, all. I'm just gonna have it remade. I'm gonna get one made. Yeah, we had a DJ and a band. Yeah. I I created a playlist of all the songs that kind of like told the story of our love story. There was a lot of Alicia Keys in there, a lot of Sade. Adam and I did a fun little dance to um, LL Cool J's. Well, you. My you brother got, you actually. Got, but you got to tell the whole story. What? The first song wasn't, it started off with Journey. Yes. So the song starts off playing Journey. I'm just forever yours. So faithfully. Bing, 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 bing. And then about and then halfway, halfway through, through it, goes, it was. Arr! And it was going, going back, back to Cali. Cali, Cali. 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 I'm going, going back, back to Cali. Cali. <laughs> I, don't I don't think so. so. <laughs> And we put on our jerseys. I had baseball jerseys made, made. Giants baseball jerseys with our numbers and our name, well, and how's the on back to both? Yes, and we did a fun dance routine that my brother Taj actually choreographed mm -hmm. the night before. <laughs> Um, we did that. Killed he it killed us. it. Everyone loved it. And then I remember 
we had um, an after party. And that after party, I think, went till 3 a.m. So what was great about all this is we started off, Tamara had it all planned out, and then she let me have some insight, which was awesome. The, we had, so we had the pre-party, which was like, you know, the, the pre-wedding ceremony cocktail get together, which had that vibe going. Then we had the ceremony where people got to stay sat down and we had the ceremony where we all came in. Then you had this like little after party with the DJ before we ate dinner. And so you kind of moved down a layer in this amazing um, resort in Yonville uh, called uh, Villaggio. So you'd go down a layer and, um, and the second layer was, we had to have tents because it rained at the last minute, which never happens in Napa. Although it cleared up in time for the wedding. So anyway, but the tent worked out great because it kept everybody kind of warm and inside. So you get the second layer was this pre-party with a DJ from the Bay, Big Vaughn and uh, DC is chilling. DC, who we're actually friends with. Still. Still to this day. They played a little songs and we all danced and stuff. And then we had the dinner, which was just awesome. We wanted so it cool. to be um, not a sit down dinner, but a, um, it was a buffet. It was a buffet, but because had a full sit, like you had your, no, you, you had a sit table. down, yes, you were signed a table, but what I mean is, is we wanted people to get up and gather and mm -hmm. meet and talk. It was fantastic. We had an after party where we had a Sunday bar, we had cupcakes, we had a groom's cake. Um, baseball glove. Yeah, it was a baseball glove. Uh, and then one of my favorite parts of our entire wedding was the band. We had a band and I was able to sing. I think it's on YouTube now. Watch. So just the vibe was um, in, in the, the final the post party we call it was just awesome I remember I went back in there at 2 a.m. because one of my friends was looking for one of my friends and I had to go back and find him at 2 a.m. because he was his ride home and the band had just stopped they literally played from like 10 to 2 o'clock in the morning and people were still there they didn't want them to stop it was so we wanted to be a place that in, a, in an event that everybody could just come together and meet each other and enjoy themselves and um, and remember it as for more than just a wedding. I think I think it turned into that. What are some of your favorite moments of of your wedding? I know my favorite moment I'll never forget it was after we got married, and you know we had kind of like the, the little reception mm -hmm. before the the dinner. They were handing out uh, flutes of champagne, and I got to toast with my mom and my grandmother and saying husband for the first time and wife for the first time that that felt pretty cool my favorite moment was so my brother gets up to give a speech which everyone in there no one had gone home early I, everyone stayed to the end i mean it's crazy even the old people mm -hmm. um and my brother got up there and gave what geraldo rivera said was the funniest speech he's ever heard and everybody else said it too. To this day, it's still being talked about. We unfortunately don't have it on video, but which makes it even more epic, I think. Um, and then afterwards, I wish we had it on I video. Know. That's the thing that uh, I would have done differently. It was I thought awesome. we assumed it was gonna have everybody audio. was 
videotaping and it had audio. And no one Our did. video did not. And it was, so, uh, but you still have the script, right? I have that the he script had? and I have, we have the memories of it. It was just hysterical. Terrible. And then we had to follow up after that. So the moment for me was laughing our butt off, everybody else laughing, him just giving this amazing speech. And then we walked up afterwards to thank everybody with her or with our, my, our, her grandma became my grandma, my great uncle, our pastor, and seeing everybody out there and just being able to thank them for coming and sharing the day with us. That to me was the moment of the wedding for me, besides obviously the actual ceremony and marrying my wife. And I loved like after you get married, we, cause there are some people who aren't able to go immediately on their honeymoon after they get married cause they have mm -hmm. job, school or, or you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. We were able to do that. And I thought that was really, really cool. Just getting up as husband and wife and I'll never forget going to San Francisco, mm -hmm. getting on that flight. And flying and to Greece. Flying to Greece. And the first time we walked into Athens and, and you saw the, the ruins, it was just stunning. And Should we do an having... episode on our honeymoon and talk about where we went? I have all the photos. What do you guys yeah, think? Yeah, I think that'll be really cool. That could be kind of cool. And we've always wanted to revisit the places of our honeymoon mm. once I remember us being there. Uh, once our kids got got older, so that could be a really, yeah. that could actually be a really cool episode of a family travel show. Tell us about your best moments at your wedding or what you hope to do at yours and some of the things you want to do and some of the traditions that maybe you do. And subscribe to The Housely Life.